City Men. Hi, this is Deadline with Cities Inn, and we are here at the Vintage Computer Festival Southeast 10, which is being held in conjunction with the Southern Fried Gaming Expo 2023. In the background, you can see handcrafted retro artwork that Chimera's Cave has brought, and she set up a section on her Etsy store. She can also create any sort of retro art that you may request, so check her out on Etsy. And get a lovely piece of hanging art for yourself or as a gift for someone that you may love. A link will be in the description of this video. We have brought with us the Cities Inn Trivia Wheel and the Hawking Hacking Trademark Buttons. These two devices plug into the Commodore 64 joy ports and for the button lamps we are using an 8 channel relay board plugged into the user port. The game is sort of an interactive experience between humans and machines. You're prompted to spin the wheel and it will land on a trivia category. We designed the trivia wheel to have a template that we can take off and take and put back on onto the front so we can change this device to be like a prize wheel or other kind of uh, thing where you might want some sort of spinning wheel. We don't know yet. We're going to figure that out. But if you're interested in how this thing works, then you should go watch our video on the building of these devices, which I just released a couple weeks ago, or last week, something like that. Anyway, after the wheel lands, the white button will flash, and you must press it to continue. Once you hit the button, it will give you a prompt. Choose a decade, either 70s, 80s, 90s, or 2000s. After making your selection, a new screen will appear and give you a random question code which we will then look up on our printed list of questions. The user will then be asked our question to see if you win or not. We had to do it this way because we ran out of time, otherwise we'd have typed all the questions into the Commodore 64. And we still may do so uh, for future shows. Anyway, so now that I've explained how this works, we're going to show you the experience firsthand with a handful of lucky contestants. City Zen. Okay. And we have another contestant for the City Zen Trivia Game. And what is your name? Dan. And where are you from? I'm from Blairsville, Georgia. Excellent. All right. So, first thing we do is spin the wheel counterclockwise. Right. Oh, it's a little persnickety. Yeah, Let's, uh... I messed it up again. Respin, spin, spin again. There we go, games. Okay. Now press the white button, press the white button. and then you can choose, whoops, do it again. Press it fast, and then choose a decade, 70s, 80s, 90s, or 2000s. Okay, question B6, where's our paper? Oh, thank you. What game was so bad that the company drove truckloads of it to the dump? E.T. <laughs> Absolutely correct. You are a winner. <laughs> uh, anything you would like on the table here? This is keychain, a button. Definitely. Thank you so very much. City Man. Hi, we're here with uh, Adrian from Adrian's Digital Basement. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to be here. Great. And so what we've got here is the Commodore 64 which I wrote a program for and made a will, trivia will, and the Hawking Hacking Trademark Buttons. So what we do is it's sort of an interactive experience between computer and humans, right? Okay. So please spin the will counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise. This away. Yes. That was a bad spin. It's okay. Right? Music, uh-oh. So now we tap the white button really quick. Oh. Did it. I need to put more of a delay in there, right? <laughs> That's all. Okay, so choose subcategory. So now um, 80s, obviously. Yes. I won't question too fast. Right. J6. Okay. Hold on. Is there We're, a question coming? There is a question coming. Let's see. J6? J6. You got it? Okay, so J6 is, don't look because no, you might. Okay. Uh, what, uh, the power of love is the <clears throat> theme song of which movie? Whoa. Do you remember Power of Love by Huey Lewis in the News? Is it uh, Back to the Future? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're, oh, was it really? Yes. Oh, that was the name of that song? I remember that. 
Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by. All right. <laughs> yeah. City Man. Hello. We're back here with Jamie. How are you doing, Jamie? I'm doing great. And uh, time. <laughs> you're the uh, you do with the meatloaf project, right? Meatloaf and Fuji Net. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna do the uh, trivia wheel yeah. that we made. So. All right. We ready? Counterclockwise. Yes. Oh, it's music. Music. So All now right. we press the white button. The white button. Yes. Now um, let's do 80s. 80s. Question code is J6. Give me one second while I find the answer, the, the question, the J6 question. Oh wait, this may have already been answered. Uh, uh, the Power of Love by Huey Lewis in the News was the theme song for which movie? Back to the Future, of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Want you. To sing it? No, <laughs> no, it's cool. All right. Thanks, Jamie. Thank City you. Man. Unfortunately, we had some problems with the audio equipment on the first day, so we're doing the next best thing and we're putting some video footage of the people that came by our table and used the trivia wheel over some music, so enjoy that. City Man. Let's start by spinning the City's in trivia well counterclockwise. Okay, okay, no whammy, no whammy. Hey, you got game, so now you hit the white button. Game. You hit the white button. You guys gonna choose a decade. Uh, I mean we gotta do 80s. 80s. Okay, so we got question B4. What, what question was before? B4, uh, eat a lot of dots and avoid the ghosts. A Pac Man, come on. Yes, easy. Ah, oh, that, was, uh, that, that was too easy. That too was. easy. You want to do it again? Let's do it again. That okay. was too easy. Okay, spin the wheel counterclockwise. Kind of right. Spin the queen. Oh, you got set this time. Oh, it's set. Yep. Uh, we'll do A again. What the heck? Easy. The question code is N2. So let me find our page here. Okay, founder of Commodore, this person went on to lead Atari. Oh, 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 oh Jack Tramel, baby! Oh, I, 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 how, how much, how much did I win? How much did I win? <laughs> uh, two and You oh. got a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> I got, oh, oh, actually. Actually, I want a compliment. A, actually, I feel a, good. Actually, a bad memory. City <laughs> man. So there you have it, folks. The City Zen Trivia Wheel and the Honky Hacking Trademark Buttons. What lies ahead for these devices? Only time will tell. I will tell you this, though. We already got a program called Wacka Spectrum in the works. That is made possible in part by donations from viewers like you. If you like our content and want to make big problems for this cost, please consider becoming a patron and help us to bring you higher quality retro entertainment and to restock your salsa and upgrade the primitive infrastructure here at CityZen. Become the hero the world needs, and we will add you to the hero list. City Zen Player Hero. Subject. Metzel. Created Zen Podcast. And it's so well still. Thank you. For the evading machines, we will not go quietly into the night.
looks like Zamfir spinning the wheel. What is he doing over there? Oh my god, he's going nuts. He's, he's landed on tech, but he, apparently he doesn't want tech. It, it seems like he, he landed on music. He doesn't want music, apparently. He wants to re spin. So he's going to re spin, and he's landed on tech again, but he, again, he doesn't want the. I don't know what he's doing. He's landed on Sid Zen as the trivia question. And the question he landed on is, I don't know what he's doing. He's pressing buttons, trying to get a question from the trivia papers. Zampir, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that, this instant. <laughs> We, we need a question in there. Who's the father of um, TRS-81? And the answer is nobody knows. <laughs>